Hey there, and uh, welcome to this uh, quick tip um, I'm going to do in Blender. It's something that I just came across and I thought was kind of cool, and um, might be useful to some of the uh, modelers out there. Um, so to start off, I'm going to make a plane, um, UV unwrap it, and uh, this is really something quite interesting. Uh, that you don't really like kind of thinking out of the box I guess but um you're gonna want to add a uh, cube to delete the top subsurface um, and just kind of modify it here Make sure that the normals are facing inward. It's important. And shade smooth. Right. So the context of this is like um, maybe you're like uh, you have some sort of like detail that you want to uh, make and it's you don't want to have to go in and like extrude and scale down and do all of that in order to make it make make the detail. So instead, what you can do is simply make a mesh on top of it that is um, just like what the detail you want. So, maybe I'll scale this down a little bit. But, um, okay. So, you're going to want to make a texture, of course, because it's going to be a normal map. And, make sure that it's, it's selected. Okay, so go down to bake, uh, selected to active, normals, make tangent, make sure tangent is selected, um, and then hopefully this will work. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to move these to a separate layer. And no, I'll just use use a image texture. That image texture. Make sure it is mapped to UVs. Yeah, already mapped to UVs. Um, normal. And then just check this out. And that's just from having a mesh on top of it. Just like, and it's not even, if you look at it, they're just like, they don't even have any volume, they're just kind of like little divots. And you didn't have to model it like on a multi-res or have to sculpt it in or anything, it's just, uh, you know, mesh right on top. And maybe you're thinking like, oh, that doesn't really make sense because I'm going to be sculpting and I'll just put those in later. Well. You might do that, but like, y you aren't going to get this sort of precision from sculpting usually unless you have like millions upon millions of polys. And I'll show you a scene that I have set up here. Oh. So uh, what I have here is a scene that I already set up. I'm just playing with uh, a whole bunch of little objects, all with sort of concave. I've, I have a couple that are uh, not concave, I'll just, for demonstration purposes, but, um, and a few little divots, S and the, uh, result of that is this. So, you'll see that the, just like the blocks, they didn't show up because you don't have any variation as far as, like, uh, slanted faces, so you need to have at least slanted faces to do it. Um, but, it turns out like really well. This is something that 
you would probably use if you were making like some sort of hard surface um, high poly model, but you don't want to have to have a whole bunch of little tiny pieces of geometry, or you don't have, want to have to poly model all this little like different stuff. Because n something like this, this would be incredibly hard to line up with normal geometry because you have all these circular things, even if you were doing a high resolution sculpted mesh. So that's what I wanted to present to you today. You could use this, say, if you have like a like a like a mech or like a uh, vehicle of some type, and you want like maybe a door handle or some sort of just like piece that you couldn't normally get using uh, normal poly modeling methods, especially like these little divots. These are really nice little details that you can have on like a metallic surface. Just give it a little bit more of a complex feel. So I uh, hope you enjoy this little uh, tip that I made for you. And um, feel free to like send me stuff that you might have used it in or whatever. Okay, uh, so um, enjoy your normal map stuff. Oh, and you don't even have to use, you can actually reuse these little things. Like if you want to like, uh, you can just copy and paste them within a uh, image editor. Like, you can open up an already ex existing normal map and just place them in certain spots, but that might not be as accurate. You might get some stretching, but if it's something a little bit more simple, like a plane or a flat surface, then you can pull it off. And you can even do this with a complex surface. You just have to line up the uh, objects in the right direction. Um, so, thanks for watching. Bye.